Hello everyone, welcome to Engineer's House channel. Today's video is about the slender crank mechanism and its applications. This mechanism essentially consists of three components, a crank, a connection rod, and a slider. However, it is mainly known as a four bar linkage. The fourth part is the frame that maintains this mechanical structure, and it can be anything like a cylinder or a guide block. The slider crank mechanism is utilized to convert the rotary motion into linear motion, or vice versa. Since it is a 1 degree freedom system, it receives one input, either rotary or linear, and gives us one output. There are two main types of this mechanism, inline and offset ones. When the crank and the slider are positioned in the same line, we call it an inline structure. Otherwise, it is an offset one. The inline mechanism creates a symmetric cylinder movement back and forth, whereas the offset one has a non symmetrical slider displacement that makes it move faster in one direction than the other. That's why it is called the quick return mechanism, in which the return stroke is quicker than the forward stroke. The slider crank mechanism has several applications in the engineering world. It is widely used in reciprocating engines of automobiles in order to transform the linear motion of piston, which is itself produced by combustion, into rotational motion of crankshaft. In this case, the piston plays the role of a slider, and a cylinder is the frame required to maintain this structure. Besides automobiles, this mechanism is frequently utilized in the steam engines for the same purpose. The steam engines have various utilization in factories, locomotives, and steam belts. There are many other examples of a slider crank mechanism in different industries. Hope you have enjoyed watching this video. For more engineering facts, subscribe to our channel.